Hello, and we're continuing on to Unit 7, Lesson 2. This is coinciding with pages 241 and 242. These are going to be focusing on simplifying expressions, the orders of operations, and using groupings. And today, our order of operations mnemonic device we're going to use is Pikachu electrocutes my dog after swimming. How sad. So this, to remind us, means that the first thing we would do is anything inside of parentheses. Then we move on to exponents. There are not going to be any exponents in this, but it's worth knowing. We have a multiplication and division. And these happen at the same time and addition and subtraction also happening at the same time. And what we do is we look through the entire problem to see if any of these are happening. If something that happens at the same time is occurring, we then move left to right. So for instance, let's use the problem 4 times 15 minus 9 divided by 3. Now what we're going to look is say, are there any things in parentheses? And there aren't. So we move on to the next one. Are there any things with exponents? There aren't. Is there any multiplication or division? There is. There's two, multiplication and division. So we're going to go left to right. So 4 times 15. Well, I know, four time, I know 2 times 15 is 30, and therefore 4 times 15 is going to be 60. So I would drop down 60, and I drop everything I haven't used yet. Minus 9 divided by 3. And then I'm going to go back and say, all right, so is there, I was on my multiplication division stage. Is there multiplication division left? There is. So I have 9 divided by 3 is 3, and I'm going to drop down everything I didn't use, which includes the 60 and the minus. I got a little clearer. And then finally, 60 minus 3 is 57. And these, I always recommend doing it in the way that comes out looking a little bit like an upside down pyramid. Now, this would change a little bit if we added in some parentheses. Unfortunately, my eraser is not right next to me right now, so I'm using my thumb. If instead of 4 times 15 minus 9 divided by 3, we had 4 times the difference between 15 and 9 divided by 3, we would have to do this a little differently. We would look at it and say, is there anything in parentheses? And right away, there is. 15 minus 9. So 15 minus 9 is 6. And we drop everything that we didn't use. We didn't use the 4. We didn't use the multiplication sign. We didn't use the division sign. And we didn't use the 3. Now, we can move on to exponents. Is there anything in exponents? There aren't. Is there any multiplication or division? There is. And so we go left to right. 4 times 6 is 24. We drop down the divided by 3. 24 divided by 3 is 8. It's a very different number than what we had earlier. And let's just keep things a little interesting. So one of the last things they're going to talk about is how you can have multiple groupings at once. And I've shown you this before just using extra parentheses. They are introducing the idea of brackets. And pretty much brackets and parentheses do the same thing. They're just different forms of grouping. And so sometimes people actually learn this as gemdos instead of pemdos because any grouping comes first. So let's say we still had Four. Hmm. 
if it was here let me do their brackets so brackets four times 15 minus 9 divided by 3. So here we have a whole different set. Make that do, oops, try. We look for our parentheses it, or our groupings and we see that all of this is inside a grouping. And so we want to say inside that grouping we start all over. Are there any parentheses inside the grouping? And there is. 4 times 15. So we say 4 times 15, we had already figured that out, is 60. And then we're dropping everything we didn't use, which includes the brackets. So drop the bracket, drop the 9, drop the bracket, drop the divided by 3. And now we start over. Is there anything in parentheses or groupings? And there is. So 60 minus 9 is 51. And we drop down everything we didn't use, divided by 3. 51 divided by 3. Hmm. I don't know that off the top of my head, so I'm going to show some work. I'm going to say over here, I'm going to make myself a little work box, and say 3 goes into, let's see, is that on the, yes it is. 51. How many times? And this is where we have a different mnemonic device, Charlie, do monkeys sell chopped bananas? We, Charlie, we check, does 3 fit into 5? And it does. So we do, we divide. How many times can 3 fit into 5? It only fits in once. We monkeys multiply. 1 times 3 is 3. We sell, subtract. 5 minus 3 is 2. We chopped, we check. Does 3 fit into 2? It does not. So we bananas. We bring down our 1. And we start over. Does 3 fit into 21? It does. How many times? 7. 7 times 3 is 21. 21 minus 21 is 0. 3 doesn't fit in, and there's nothing left to bring down. There's no decimal, the decimal points are filled in. So our answer here is 17. We worked on this in class. This is just a chance to review. So use today to do pages 241 and 242. Thank you so much and have a great day.